report is finally out, all 448 pages of it, and there is plenty of reaction to it this morning. While the president is declaring victory, top Democrats are vowing to keep investigating his actions. Michelle Fisher is here with a closer look at the report and the response. Michelle. Good morning, Chris and Brianna. The report did find that the campaign knew about Russian interference and communicated with the Russians, but did not criminally coordinate with them. But this morning, Republicans and Democrats now split over the findings and whether or not the president obstructed justice. Mueller's report noted, if we had confidence after a thorough investigation of the facts that the president did not commit obstruction of justice, we would so state. However, we are unable to reach that judgment. It continued saying that the president's effort to influence the investigations were most, mostly unsuccessful, but that is largely because the persons who surrounded the president declined to carry out his orders. While the president now declaring victory, Democrats are calling the report damaging. This should never happen to another president again. This hoax, this should never happen to another president again. The president very much appears to have tried to obstruct justice, and we need to hear from Mr. Mueller about the seriousness of those efforts by President Trump. The Mueller team looked at 10 incidents that could potentially have led to obstruction of justice. Those included firing FBI Director James Comey and initial efforts to remove Mueller himself. In the coming weeks, both Mueller and Attorney General Barr have now been asked to testify before Congress. Brianna.